hi and welcome to David Tom Creations channel. This week I am um, going to have a look at using FlexTime in Logic Pro X. Uh, I did mention in my last video um, the uh, Lo-Fi House um, track that I did that I'd used uh, FlexTime to convert one of the Loop Cloud audio samples into MIDI and then put that on a um, instrument track instead of audio. Uh, so there's um, there's obviously a few a few ways you can do this, but uh, I'm using um, I said the flex pitch version uh, of of it of doing it. So um, right, so this is the uh, I'll just I thought I'd use a different sample. So. This is another kind of bass from the uh, Mono Deluxe uh, Masters pack. So it's quite a good little uh, bass line. So uh, what we do is we uh, double click this and go to track and then turn on flex for this so it does say you want to turn on flex turn on flex right so uh we have to use uh flex pitch to ignore all these ones and go to flex pitch uh and uh you can see that it kind of uh, does a bit of a different thing uh so we also uh, after that we can choose edit and then create right at the bottom create MIDI track from FlexPix data. So that is what we want. So we click on Analyze. Um, and there we go. So it has, oh, hang on, let's switch that off. And there we go. So it has uh, create, uh, created this um, uh, MIDI track. So now we've got MIDI, we can uh, go and have a look at, we've got piano roll. Um, so you can actually see, so it's gone to electric, well, I'll just leave it on electric piano at the moment, uh, just to see what it sounds like. And uh, let's have a wee Right, so you can see it's kind of <laughs> um, not, the best thing I'll just move this up a wee bit and move that down. There we go. Um, so yeah, so like you see, you've got these kind of little random notes. So the first thing is just to uh, select it all and then quantize. And then let's say we can start mucking about and just delete the odd little notes. And also you can see the velocity. Um, so we can go and change maybe some of the velocity. Um, so uh, it's just a wee bit, not quite as loud in those parts. Right. So you can see, we'll just you know, bring them up a wee bit. I think maybe, uh, about 10. Right. That is uh, quite a quick way of doing it. So um, what I've done is uh, I've got a, an alchemy track here, so we can just drag that back up there. Um, and uh, we'll hide that, go to alchemy. Go to alchemy. There we go, alchemy. Um, and... <laughs> Right, we're in wobbly lead, we don't really want that. Um, let's have a look and see, we'll solo that. Uh, it's going to leads, analog, um, say ambient, and clean. All right, I've watched that one. Right.
So that's not bad. Right, so what I think we should do is transpose this. Now there's a shortcut way of doing this. So we uh, select all and then it option arrow. And that takes us up a full octave. So let's have a wee Yeah, so that's better. Right, so that's what it sounds like with the bass. So yeah, so that's pretty good. And uh, uh, yeah, let's try a bit of hybrid. Um, and see what we can get on that. Let's have a look. Polysynth, synthetic. Oh, pause with that. Mm, it's a bit similar, not to it. So yeah, so like I said, it's uh, it's a pretty cool way of just building up uh, a rhythm using the same MIDI notes and just by adjusting the octaves or take it down. Right, check it right up. Uh, Let's just do that uh, and uh, 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 let's try something else other than that. Right, where are we? Uh, let's go to house. Where's the uh, 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 uh. right? This is the the. This is the one I used. Let's see what it sounds like with that. back in something dubstep uh, oh that's a look uh, dark edged the 
Ve, ¿no? gives you an idea of how to muck around with uh, an audio sample and uh, let's have a wee look uh, where are we there my sip lead let's just uh, solo that right, let's take that up oh, let's see this Um, and obviously you can go in and, and just change some of the, the MIDI notes or add in, um, where are we, here we go, uh, yeah you can obviously just go in and change some, uh, change around some of the individual um, MIDI notes. Uh, so for instance let's see we could maybe... You know, Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's quite cool. Um, and uh, what I was going to show you was I brought in these other so this is um, a couple of other samples from here so it's the Landy electric piano which I kind of used um, as well um, so you can see that it's um, it's not a, a four bar section uh, so what you can use flex time for this as well so if we um, Hang on, select that track and uh, switch on flex time uh, and then go to automatic uh, if you go to the top and you get this little so there's kind of that one and then there's one with the, the kind of bits coming out of it if you can see that um, and then if you drag that down um, that will just retain that um, whole uh, sample um but it will keep it at tempo at 120 uh, and you can do the same with it's because the drum is the same um so we'll switch that on and go to automatic and then take the drums down as well so um let's just go switch that off um so yeah there we go um and i will just probably might be a bit too much we'll switch some oh, hang on. we'll switch some of them off and uh Kind of get the idea that's maybe a bit loud on it. Let's take that down a bit. Was it? 
Right, anyway, that is a couple of ways of using flex time in Logic Pro X. Hope you uh, found that um, useful. Uh, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I will uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.